Hi everyone, this is Mindy Egan and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how you can use this large hot foil plate from Simon Says Stamp. This is the intricate floral background hot foil plate, so I will be showing you hot foiling and ink blending over your foil. To start off with, here is a look at that hot foil plate. Like I said, it is a large hot foil plate that is going to cover the entire front of an A2 card panel. I'm going to be foiling it with some gold foil from Spellbinders. Now this is their glimmer foil. You want to make sure that you have glimmer foil because regular foil will not work for this. It is a specialty foil. So I stretched it out from the roll to fit the size of my cover plate and I'm just trimming that down with my large scissors. I'm going to be using hammer mill cardstock because it is a very smooth surface and I have that cut to about five and a half by eight and a half. I placed my foil on it shiny side up, took my plate and placed that face down on my shiny foil. This is how I like to do my foiling and I like to tape down whatever I'm foiling only because when I disengage the platform it shifts and to me this just prevents any shifting from happening. I'm bringing in my Glimmer Hot Foil system from Spellbinders and I have it already warmed up. You can see the green light is on over there which means it's ready. Now I'm taking my cardstock and that hot foil plate and I'm flipping this over so that my plate is touching that hot surface or that warm surface. Then I hit the button. It's going to be blinking. I'm going to place my sandwich on top. These are the plates that come with your glimmer system. And when that light is done blinking and is a solid green, that means it's hot and ready to go. So I'm going to pull this, disengage it from the platform. So that's why I tape everything down. And then I'm going to run this through my Platinum 6 die cut machine. And you don't need any other platforms with this, just that platform from the glimmer system. After I run that through, I can engage my platform back on my system if I'm going to be foiling some more. And then I'm just carefully removing this plate. The plate is quite warm to the touch. I use my fingernails or if you have tweezers to kind of help move that around. And then you can peel back this foil. And I have a perfectly foiled black background with a ton of shine. So you could use this as is, just as your background, but I like to add ink to mine. I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated Inks to do my ink blending today, but you can use any ink colors that you have on hand. I just really liked these shades. So this first one is sea foam, and I'm using a blending brush and just really light circular motions to apply that ink. Just kind of starting off on that bottom third portion of my image. Then I'm going to bring in Tide Pool, work it in the middle, and kind of work up back into that previous color. And the last color I'll add is going to be lemonade and also work that into my previous color. Now I also like to, when I pick up the ink, I like to tap off the excess first off on the side on my glass surface because that just kind of gets off the initial harshness of the ink. I can always add more ink later. If I start off too strong, I'm kind of stuck with it. I'm going to die cut this out using the A2 layers rectangle die from Waffle Flower. And then I'm also bringing in the nesting circles die and I'm using it or I'm finding a size that's going to fit this yay you word die. I wanted that circle to be just a little bit bigger than the yay you. So for that circle, I'm die cutting it out of some pearlescent vellum and the yay you I am going to die cut it from some matte gold cardstock. I like to layer up my die cut words to add dimension and so I have some white cardstock here that's 110 pound and I'm using my compact cutter from Hero Arts. This has suction cups on the bottom so it holds down to my glass surface and I'm just going to run this through and die cut this about five times. I'm going to poke out any of those excess bits using my craft pick and the reason I did it five times is I'm going to layer two together to go behind my vellum and three I'll layer together to go on top of the vellum. To layer them together, I am using just my tweezers and also some Connect glue that I have in these little mini bottles from Gina K Designs. I really like these because of that fine needle tip that it has. It just is a lot easier to apply glue to some of these smaller areas. So like I stated previously, I'm gonna layer up two together that's going to go behind the vellum and three of them together and then adding the gold on top of that third layer. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I want to pop up this circle from my card from a card front a little bit. So that's why I'm gonna add two layers in the back. Here I'm finishing off the front, 
So I have those three white layers plus the gold. And now for this one, I'm adding the glue to the front of those Yay You word dies. Then I'm going to flip over my vellum and line this up with the words from the back, just kind of using that as a guide. I like to use my tweezers so that way my fingers are kind of out of the way and I can get that lined up nice and perfect. And then I'm going to hold that down for just a second to make sure it's adhered really well. For smaller sentiment, I'm using these Yay Sentiment Strips. So there are two different designs in this pack and there are a lot of great sentiments in here for encouragement and congrats. So I took one of those and trimmed it down into a thin strip using my paper trimmer. Now I'm going to work on the assembly of my card. So I have a white card base here that's side folding that I'm holding together with a low tack tape. I added some adhesive to the front of that card base and then I can add my foiled panel to the top. Just making sure I start from the folded edge and then kind of line my way up and over. That way if there's any excess, I can just trim that off. I'm going to add my sentiment right under that yay you. I don't have anything attached to the front of the card just yet. Now to layer up my smaller sentiment here, I'm just using some scraps of cardstock. That way I can customize how high I want that to be versus a foam squares where you're kind of stuck with the thickness that you get. So I can add that right under my die cut word. And then I'm also going to flip this over and add some cardstock behind that layer as well so that it helps uh, being even, I guess, from the back. So it's the same uh, height as my yay you from the back. I hope that makes sense, but you could see it in the video. Sometimes it's easier to see it than it is to explain it. Then I can add that connect glue to the back of that yay you and also that smaller strip and add this to the front of the card. Now, if I was thinking a little bit more ahead, I probably would have cut two pieces of that pearlescent vellum and layered them together just to add a little bit support, a little bit more support because I noticed that my edges were kind of kind of curving down a little bit. Not super noticeable and not a big deal, but I think I would have added an extra layer if I would have thought about it. I had placed a couple heavy blocks on top and let it sit for a little bit to make sure that that is really adhered to the card front. And now I have some of these clear quartz solid sequins spilled into my triangle tray from Simon Says Stamp. And I like to align my embellishments first before I actually glue them down. Once I'm happy with the arrangement, then I can use my pickup tool and my connect glue to adhere those to the front of the card. So now we have this beautiful golden shine on our ink blended background and I love how that matte gold just really matches the gold foil that I used. That finishes up my card project for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I will have all of the supplies listed down below in the video description and over on my blog as well. If you enjoyed today's card and would like to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified when new videos are posted. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you again real soon. Here are a few more videos I think you might enjoy.